Snail Games, the Chinese publishers of Ark Survival Evolved, recently lied to their stockholders just days before the Ark roadmap was announced. Later this year, we expect to release our flagship title, Ark 2. Stating that Ark 2 would release this year, and just a week later, they were announcing that Ark 2 would release at the end of 2024 in the Ark roadmap that was released. Because of this, I believe they had to make the Unreal Engine 5 upgrade a paid upgrade to include Arc 2 to please their shareholders that they lied to. Forcing consumers to pay for a product we still have yet to see. As this contradicted what Wildcard had stated after Jeremy Arc's lead developer had announced Arc Unreal Engine 5 would be a free update. What this means is either Snail Games, the publisher, and Wildcard, the developer, must have extremely poor communication, as they should have known in their shareholders meeting that Arc 2 would not be out this year, or Snail Games knew and blatantly lied to their shareholders. But the main problem here is that we are paying for something we were told is free, or we are paying for something that we still have yet to see, and forced to do so to get the Unreal Engine 5 upgrade and to please Snail's shareholders. Either way you look at it, it's a slimy tactic, and that's why I think this is Snail's call. As Snail just recently went public and their stocks have tanked. Today we are talking about how I believe Ark is in a panic with Ark 2 and Snail Games is making it worse by trying to cash in on their IP by doing dirty business decisions, cost of their customers us, and at the cost of the reputation of Wildcard, who gets blamed for Snail's dirty decisions. The problem here is not paying for Ark 2, but the way we are being forced to and lied to by a slimy Chinese company trying to keep their stocks high. So with the recent Ark news of Ark Survival Ascendant, the Unreal Engine 5 update, and Ark 2, there has been a huge uproar in the community, due mostly to the fact that Ark's lead developer Jeremy Steiglitz stated that Ark Unreal Engine 5, now called Ark Survival Ascendant, update would be free. We now know it's not. Furthermore, official servers are getting closed on Ark 1, forcing people to go over to Ark Unreal Engine 5. Arc Ascendant. This update was not only supposed to be free, and now we are being forced to transfer to this update due to the official server support being closed on Arc 1. A game that still has 75,000 concurrent players only on PC Steam. The problem is this practice is shady and is strong arming people to buy Arc 2 as well as that's packaged in with the Unreal Engine 5 deal. Both these practices are so shady when we have seen no footage of Arc 2 and we know for a fact it will be wildly different from Arc 1 and that is very divisive as there's going to be a whole new combat system and changes. It seems Wildcard is worried it won't be good for some of the community. They're adding combat like Dark Souls. They're just ripping it up. I mean nothing like Arc 1 and at this point I think they know it and I think they know a lot of the community is not going to be happy with Arc 2. So that's why Arc Survival Ascendant Unreal Engine 5 is now such a big deal for them. I know I don't want souls like combat in Ark, no one I talk to does. But anyway, that's besides the point maybe for another video. The point is Wildcard Jeremy said one thing and now we have another. Why the sudden change? Well, I have a strong idea why as Ark Studio Wildcard designed the game but another company publishes it and publishers are always the issue in games. Remember Star Wars Battlefront's launch? The disastrous greedy microtransactions? Yep, that was forced by their publisher. And now we all know who the publisher of Ark Survival Evolved is. We all know the slimy name, the dirty name, Snail Games is the publisher of Ark. And they have seemingly strong-armed Wildcard into making this Unreal Engine 5 update now a paid upgrade instead of free and making it so it includes Ark 2 to increase their sales and look better for their shareholders. Ark is still making millions from selling their product. In the last financial quarter of 2022, they still made $15 million from Ark, so they definitely do not need extra money for Ark 2 development. It is definitely a case of greed, not need. As Snail Games going public on the stock market, they want to increase their profits, as the $15 million was still a 30% decrease on the last year. So Snail Games, seeing that Ark 2's pushback, are trying to cash in quick, forcing us to buy Ark 2 preemptively. I think Snail Games are the shadiest company, and nothing they touch seems to succeed except for Ark. Their stock is falling heavily because of it. Ark 2 was scheduled to release this year, and now with it not releasing this year, they'll be in a panic trying to keep their sales numbers up, and that's how we get into this situation. So in this video, I want to cover why Snail Games is such a poor publisher and give you the evidence to back this up with. So Snail Games has a hit list of flops that they've tried to milk using Ark's assets and similarities. Snail Games currently published games like Atlas, Last Oasis, and Pixar, to name a few. Atlas was a great game at release and had a high player base and sold many copies, but last year Snail Games wrote it off as a financial loss and since have cut huge amounts of support to the game, giving it a bare bones development team and a poor roadmap and perception. The game still has huge potential, 
but snail games is cut and run like they do with every survival game they pick up. This also happened with another game that snail games published called Dark and Light. This game was great, it was like Ark Survival Evolved with magic and I really enjoyed it. It had a few balance issues that could have been ironed out and the game could have been as big as Ark but Snail Games didn't see that potential. They took the money, saw the player dip and they cut and run and Dark and Light is still in early access and has not been updated and people are calling it abandonware on the Steam forums. Snail Games is not a company that you want to be investing with or buying shares of. They buy a game, they release it in early access, they get some hype, they sell some copies and then they promptly abandon it exploiting the early access system on Steam. There's countless other things they've released like Ark on Nintendo Switch which was covered by Jade Plays Games and he said that was a horrendous release. Kira TV just had a video talking about Last Oasis and how Snail Games has purchased it and then left it to rot as well. I saw Netty the Noodle trying to record Ark Park and he said that was a horrendous experience with half the functions not working in that game. This is what Snail Games do. They publish an early access game, make some money, and they leave a slimy snail trail behind them. Ark is their only successful game and that's why they have to milk it so hard with these shady business practices. Ark 1 is still a massive game with 73,000 concurrent players on Steam at this very time. There has never been another game that has pulled the cord, cut and run like they are trying to do with Ark 1 when it's a healthy game, forcing people to rebuy the whole game again and this is why snail games is so shady and i recommend not to invest with them i want to make this video public so that people can see who is behind the curtain of arc survival evolve causing all these issues so the main takeaway is this do not blame wildcard they are under nda and i am sure if they could tell us what was going on they would because it would be a story. I believe Wildcard are good people. I've talked to Seth and Jat and Dolly, and they are all great and genuine people who I believe genuinely want the best, but the problem is the snail hidden under the rock, pulling the strings and hiding out of sight, and then once the snail's caught, they slip off to another rock to hide under. But now we have seen their slippery snail trail. We can see them publicly on the stock market, and we know the reasons why this has all happened. I would have no worries buying Ark 2 if I saw gameplay and knew what it was. But I don't want to be forced to buy Ark 2 when I don't know what it is and what I'm getting. And the other problem is Unreal Engine 5 upgrade was claimed to be free and I don't want to pay for something that I've been told is free. I want to have a choice, something a Chinese company might not know much about. And I don't want to give any more money to a shady publisher like Snail Games, who take the money of survival gamers, release new games and then promptly run away with the profits. They claim they are a leader in survival games to their shareholders, but they are not. Complete opposite of what they claim to be. They are not born to dream, they are born to deceive. The way we can make a difference is by damaging Snail Games' reputation. Make a post on Twitter and just let your friends know Snail Games can't be trusted in the survival game industry. If you see them releasing a game, do not trust it, do not buy it. It'll be abandoned in the coming months if the player base slightly dies off. Everything they touch is ruined and we don't want them to ruin Ark anymore. Give me money. Money me. Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. Tag Vin Diesel, I'm sure he is fastly furious at how poorly this is being run. He is a producer on Ark 2 and I just want the best for Ark and Studio Wildcard and I think the best is that everyone knows Snail Games is a bad publisher and Ark needs a new one. Tag big creators who will discuss who discuss bad devs and publishers like Big Fry, Kira and others and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Share this video around, leave it a like and comment and it'll spread like wildfire so that we can get this message out that we want our game to have a good publisher. And I've recently also done another video on Snail Games a few months ago exposing even more corruption within their ranks. If you guys want to see that I'll leave the link in the description. Let's hope that maybe one day Wildcard can get free from this publisher and I believe strongly that if we see companies like this doing dodgy practice it should be spoken about. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. You guys are legends. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.